The Fort Wayne Artists Guild has been around for nearly 60 years, and now it's in a new home at Jefferson Point. Since May, it's now located inside the old Alta store location across from Burlington. Take a look. It's a place where dozens of local artists are able to display and sell their works in a huge space now during rotating exhibits. In the guild, uh, 180 members are there, and in the gallery, 36 volunteers help out and they are both designed to create awareness about the arts and create an opportunity for kind of a community within a community to form. So here's a lot more in this week's Linda Likes It. The Fort Wayne Artists Guild Gallery in Jefferson Point has a somewhat unassuming but amazing appearance with beautiful paintings hanging in the front windows and the gallery's weekend hours on the front door. As you can see if you look around, there are almost 300 pieces of art here and it does not look like it. 300 pieces from paintings of all kinds to pottery and sculptures to jewelry and even some photography. John Kelty, who's in charge of the gallery and is a past guild president, says this gallery is more traditional and they keep commission low so artists can keep their prices down some. If we can keep a gallery open, we can always attract members because all artists are looking for somewhere to display their work. John says the Guild and Gallery help educate, exhibit, and introduce Fort Wayne to local artists. They welcome everyone to stop by with no pressure to buy, with price points between two and $2,000, with $250 the mid-range. You don't have to buy. We encourage people just to come in and look, really. Uh, we're all about foot traffic. That's what we're about. It, it's not only a, a gallery for sale, it's a gallery for show. Yearly memberships are only $30. Members meet once a month, and the Guild participates in several events all over during the year. The artists here range in age from 18 to 93. John, a New Haven native, says this is the local art scene. Art is a journey, so it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or a professional, we welcome everybody. I could have talked with him all day. I bet. And you know, John says he asks each and every visitor before they leave the gallery, which piece is your favorite? And the answers vary a lot. He also says the future is very strong for the Guild, and if you'd like to browse or shop at the gallery, the hours are Friday and Saturday, 12 to 8, Sunday 12 to 4 and look for possible expanded hours over the holiday season. Also you can search Fort Wayne Artists Guild to find their website and Facebook page and get to know it a little bit more. So did you have a favorite? I Probably hard to choose. Favorite. I loved that monarch butterfly yes. and I loved the bistro set outside. Um, I love some of the jewelry <laughs> a lot uh, and the little note cards. I mean some of the sculptures were amazing and the photographer who's in there right now mm -hmm. with his work I found a, a holiday gift for my son, I think. Great. But I'm not going to tell you anymore because it okay. might be a surprise. What if, what if he's watching? It won't yeah. be a secret. Oh, I'm sure he's watching. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> right. he is. Oh, good. He's so excited about us being together again. That's so, so. great. Okay. Well, thanks, Linda.